So welcome everyone back to Spiritual Selfish channel and welcome back to Jamie's channel. Uh, this video is will, will be an interview based, but guys, this will go on both channels, on YouTube channels, on mine and Jamie's channel. So depending <laughs> where you're tuning from, welcome back. Um, so today we're talking about the great awakening on earth and here we have if you're watching on spiritual selfish channel here we have Jamie so Jamie Salazar is known as the mystic medium as a she is a psychic intuitive that is dedicated to helping others remember who they are as multi-dimensional sparks of source energy while many people are waking up during um, the shift, uh, navigating the mass awakening and taking back spiritual power can help us all co-create the world beyond the third dimension, which on my channel lately I have been talking a lot as well about the 3D and 5D shift. So I'm super excited to talk with you, Jamie, today. I'm excited too, Christina. First and foremost, before I introduce you onto my channel, my record button is asking me to ask you to give permission to record. So I don't know if mm. you have to do something on my on your end or what. Oh no. Okay. Christina Day, I'm so excited to speak with you today on my channel. So welcome my fellow YouTuber and light warrior, Miss Christine Christina Day. She is a spiritual teacher, intuitive guide, and online course creator. She focuses on raising human consciousness. So you can let go of old programming, raise your vibration, and remember your own divinity. So I encourage you to all go and um, see her channel and subscribe to her channel at Spiritually Selfish. Thank you so much for being here, Christina. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. And yeah, guys, um, we leave all the details of each other's in the description down below. Uh, but today we're talking about the Great Awakening, the Great Awakening that is happening on Earth. So the points we're going to be talking about uh, is going to be what the Great Awakening actually is. And I would love, you know, to hear your perspective as, you know, uh, as a medium uh, about Great Awakening, Jamie. Uh, then we'll touch on about, um, you know, the, the lies, what we are actually waking up from, the, the illusion, the matrix. Um, and the last thing is what can we expect in 2020 and beyond with the energies of uh, Great Awakening? Right. So guys, let us know in the comments as well if you have any questions after this, but let's dive in. Um, so the Great Awakening, Jamie, I would love to hear your perception of it uh, as your human self as and as your, you know, multidimensional self. What is Great Awakening for you? So for me, it, the Great Awakening is a higher perspective in um, your consciousness. So right now we're kind of, I, I, we always say 3D and 5D or beyond. Um, but in my perspective, it, it's really hard to uh, do the dimensional thing, which I, I know that I do a lot, but I think that's more of the 3D me. Um, it's just a, a different perspective on life and kind of merging the, the right hemisphere and left hemisphere in the brain. Um, we see this in ancient cultures all over the place, but I think it's more so being able to merge everything together and kind of the end of duality consciousness is my perspective of that. So how do you, what do you think in terms of raising consciousness and in terms of this great awakening? How do you see that? Yeah, well, first of all, I want to say that I really uh, love how you said that, you know, end of uh, duality. Like, I really love that because we get caught up in the 3D, the matrix, the illusion, whatever you want to call it. And often people don't even realize that they are in it until they're step back and like, look at it uh, from the side. But for me, Great Awakening is really waking up to the next level of the truth and unplugging from this matrix that we all know as, you know, job security, as uh, educational system, medicine, all of those, um, you know, very, I would say, wounded masculine type of things and systems we have currently on, on earth, waking up from that level. Um, because, you know, it's still not the we're still not enlightened. It's just one step of awakening, you know, the great awakening of humanity. Absolutely. And, you know, there's times that I feel like 
I'm not awakened at all. So it's almost like you kind of shift from high perspective to this low perspective. And, you know, there's times that I'll feel really crappy. So I want people to know that it's okay to feel um, ungrounded. It's okay to feel like you don't know what's happening. It's okay to feel the fear in all, in all honesty. And I think it's, this is kind of the end of this fear consciousness. But I'd like to, to let you know that there are times that I freak out and I lose my mind. And that is part of this shift. Um, it's part of going through all of these kind of um, chakra systems. I, I don't really like to say chakras, um, although I do. That's the only way that I can. There's so many words that are not, you know, um, meant for what we're talking about. Uh, but moving toward moving forward through all of these energy systems and kind of purging out this stuff, um, you're gonna feel fear, you're gonna feel the crap. So I just wanna let you know uh, right off the bat that it's okay to feel that. And it does not mean that you're stuck. And it doesn't mean that, it just means that you're kind of moving through it. So yeah, little little disclaimer at the beginning. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so this is awesome that you started talking about this. So we kind of, you know, spoke from each perspective, what is a great awakening on the level of, you know, humanity as a collective, but what great awakening is on individual perspective, you know, how did you woke up? What were your experiences and so on? Like what people, because I feel now it is, we are waking up on individual level and as a humanity so people who are waking up now i feel that it's more challenging for them because than people who woke up prior for us it's easier to accept the great awakening of humanity because we don't have to go through it on the individual level anymore i completely agree with you i know that there's so many things that are kind of going crazy right now and, and we're seeing this because it's the macrocosm and the microcosm so, you know, I, I agree with you, Christina, that we, um, we had it easier. <laughs> um, and I, it's, it's really hard, especially seeing all these things right now and kind of being told to um, stay within your, your home and stay within, and, and everybody's kind of disconnected right now. And to me, I'm really excited about it. And I know that sounds completely insane, but the crazier it gets, the more that I get excited about it because I'm like, I can see it happening. And I'm like, oh, yay, people are waking up. Because to me, it's like the, the crazier it gets, people have to kind of sit in their homes. Um, and I think that's changing, by the way. Um, it's going to very soon. But I think people kind of had to sit in their homes and um, reflect and, and that's creating this great awakening. And, and the crazier it gets, the more that people are waking up to <clears throat> the fact that we haven't been told the truth. And, and really on a higher perspective, we created this. So it, it is really to, to get out of the fear of that, we are creators and we created this madness right now in order to wake up. So that part always makes me feel better when I start feeling that fear. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, when the pandemic just hit, I think it was around March. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it was like, it's so obvious that this is the feeling that was so present for so many years that people were asking for, that they were hating their jobs, they were hating what they're doing. And literally the, you know, this constant pressure, this constant stress w was in the air. And I will tell you that because you know, 2017, 18, 19 were the years when I was living in Australia, uh, I was living in Bali and prior also was traveling all around the world. And I will tell you that you could feel this energy no matter the country you were in. Um, so I think it's really just, you know, the culmination, the physical manifestation of what we were wanting, we just were not specific you know I hate my job but <laughs> I didn't think I that I actually need <laughs> an income or something like that um, but yeah with spiritual awakening with the great awakening um, everyone who's watching right now no matter if you just you know you've been waking up for the past three years or you're just waking up um, as Jamie said you know it's okay whatever you're feeling um, it is literally a roller coaster because you're your whole belief system or start to shudder it's like who am i you know your identity will uh, crush your ego you, you have to experience your ego death as well 
Um, so there's a lot of things that will be going on and it's hard to, you know, just put another label on it, what you will experience, but whatever you feel is valid. You just don't try to put yourself in another box of, I'm, um, I'm, I don't know, I'm a schizophrenic or, or I'm a crazy person. And no, it's, you're not, you're just waking up to another level of truth. Feeling it like you're going crazy is the, like one of the number one symptoms. Uh, feeling, I felt like I was going completely insane and everybody thought I was insane. And now I'm kind of sitting back, like my ego self is kind of sitting back like, oh, you guys thought I was crazy. And now look at what's happening. <laughs> and I have to be like, okay, tone it down, tone it down. <laughs> yeah. And, and I personally think that I did not have realization that I'm spiritual awakening for about a year. As really? I was in, yeah, because in 2017, I left my life in Latvia and I moved to Australia. So my whole identity was stripped and I, I just associated as a part of being introduced to new environment, to new people, being in another country all by myself. So I kind of, you know, this is how it is, you know, <laughs> but then I really understood that this was my opportunity to actually ask myself what do why do I need to drink why do I eat the food I eat like yeah. and completely rebuild myself from scratch uh, but in you know in a, in a different environment yeah and when I, you know when I was waking up um, so I've, I've been a medium since I was a little girl um, and I'm 41 now so that was a while back um, but I've been a medium since I was a little girl and I remember kind of playing um, with other beings and you know and people say and this is the number one thing that I want to let people know imagination is the key imagination and that word kind of sounds like oh it's fake and it's really not um, when I'm when I'm doing readings and this is kind of waking up to the power of who you are, um, when I'm doing readings, it's imagination is what you're using. You're kind of visualizing it just the same way as you did when you were a child. Um, and, and we need to wake up to that, the realization that we have this power. Um, but when I started to wake up, so I, like I said, I was a little girl and I did this and then I kind of society told me, you know, stop daydreaming, you need to pay attention. Uh, I had ADD, which still totally do. So I go off on tangents all the time. Um, but it's almost like it's just different perspectives all over the place. Um, and I kind of need to hone it in. And so I, I forgot about all of that stuff. And I really kind of felt like I didn't know what I was talking about. I kind of shut up. I was the class clown uh, so that it would take the pressure off of me. And then once I got older um, and I had children, I started to kind of, I, I almost felt like I was sick for a while there, especially when I had my, my youngest. Um, I, I felt like I was getting sick and I didn't understand what was happening. I got really dizzy. Um, I, I would honestly just laid on the couch and I didn't want to move. And this, this was about two years that I just was like, I can't, you know, I can't, I lost a ton of weight and not in a good way. Um, I, I was freaking out. I really was. Um, and so when I started to understand these symptoms, I, I mean, I would get like physical symptoms where, and we'll talk about that too, um, if you would like to talk about that. But I would get these physical symptoms where it was like, there was like electricity all throughout my body. And I felt like I was gonna faint. I would, I would drive my kids to school and um, I would, it's like a, a straight shot, you know, like I just have like three turns and it's a straight shot for like, ten, it's like a 10 minute drive. And during that drive, I would look around and be like, did I make a wrong turn? So I really thought I was going crazy. You know, I was like, yeah, I made a wrong turn. I've never been here before. And I'd be looking around like, seeing this uh, scenery that I had almost never seen before. And then I would almost snap out of it and be like, oh yeah, okay, I, I, I'm in the right place. And so that was kind of the beginning of my roller coaster of the, the real awakening. I think there's kind of different levels to it, you know? Um, and I think you, I mean, if you look back, you can probably remember that from your childhood, you know, knowing these things and then kind of forgetting. And then, and there's certain lucky people that have just known this all their lives, but I remember kind of knowing and then forgetting and then knowing again. So. Yeah. Like, this is so interesting that you touched on and shared this. Um, I actually have a question. Uh, the thing that you mentioned, like that when you're driving and then you're suddenly like, is this a new scenario or like, where am I? 
Actually, I think you're the first person whom I hear this sharing. I only thought that this happens to me. Like sometimes I walk somewhere and then I'm like, what the, like, it feels like I'm in such a, in, in a different box. Yes. Do you, and like, what is this? Because I never, like, I thought that's only happening to me. <laughs> what is this? Yeah. No, not at all. What that is, is you actually open up your eyes. So we say the great awakening. And really that's kind of, um, in, in different religions all over the place. And I'm not trying to get all religious because it, there's different, like I've been in, in all these different religions here and there. Um, and I think they're all great and they all have purpose and they all kind of have pieces of the puzzle and you just kind of got to fit them together. Um, but it's like in Christianity, which is one of the, the bigger ones that most people know about, it's called revelation, right? Well, revelation, everybody thinks, oh my goodness, it's like this doom and gloom and the apocalypse, you know, well, the word, you know, apocalypse just means the unveiling, okay? And revelation to, means to reveal. It doesn't mean the end of the world. So what you're doing is revealing with new eyes, a new dimension, and so it feels like you're not in the same place and you can go back and forth from that and things will get brighter and then they'll get kind of dim. And there's times I'm not kidding that I've been in higher dimensions and cause I always hear that it's brighter and there's these bright colors and everything. There's times that I've been in the higher dimensions and it's very dim. And I think that's almost like when we awake, we kind of have to wipe the sleep from our eyes, you know? So it's different dimensions and just realizing that you are in a different place. It's the same. It's like, um, the three D's right here, and then five D is is right on top of it. it. We're in the same place. We're not going to, you know, shoot off to a different place. We're in the same world, but it's really kind of a different realm, if if you will. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's like a tapping into a different frequency, into parallel reality, in different timeline. Wow, this is so interesting. And, and finally, like, yeah, when you said this, I'm like, yeah, of course, how I didn't like realize this before. But when you are in it, it's like, like, it, like you're half half asleep or what the hell is wrong with me, you know? Sure. Um, but I would love to touch on now a bit more about, you know, what we actually are waking up from, you know? So I, I feel spiritual awakening, great, great awakening, it consists of two parts, you know, first realizing and like what waking up, what the heck, the world is not what I thought it is. And the second part is navigating and learning about what's behind it, you know. So let's chat about the first part, what we are waking up from, what are the lies we've been told? So just as I said to, at the beginning, we are, we are God source. I, I call it source energy. Some people call, call it God. Um, and we're all sparks of that. So we, as a collective, we are God. Okay. And we are creator beings. Well, so at the beginning, just to not to freak anybody out, we are, we created this and we created, um, different beings, you know, and everybody's a mirror of you. So, you know, what you, when you meet somebody and you don't like something within them, uh, it's usually within you. And, and that's really hard to kind of grasp. So waking up to um, all of this madness right now is really more waking up to uh, the fact that we've created this to, uh, to understand ourselves. And so these different beings, there are different beings um, and they've kind of, uh, and I won't get into that too much, uh, but they've put uh, limits, they've tried to put limits on our consciousness. Uh, and so in the media, um, that's a big one. And in, in the movies, it, it's all created to uh, move your emotion to how they want it to move it. So that's why there's this suppression and there's this huge uh, gap between the people that make all the money and the people that don't make any money. And so the realization of that is kind of falling into place right now. And so it's really about different beings, but in a higher perspective, it is all you. Does, you know, I hope that makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> it's so hard to come to put into, into words, but how do you, what do you think about that, Christina? How do you feel? Yeah. So I love how you are, you know, you are giving the higher perspective and you're giving the, you know, the basic that there are beings who are suppressing. Um, for me, waking up, is just realizing and expanding your mind that the world is not just this 
it's this, but this, 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 this and endless possibilities. Just understanding that anything is possible right here, right now, and not being so rigid and so stubborn that, no, this is the only way it is, is already, you know, waking up. And then we can, you know, talk about conspiracy theories and all of those different beings and so on and so forth. But you know, we're not going to go there in this, um, you know, interview, but it's really realizing that you are not ju just this like little helpless human, because again, through this media, through movies, education, finances, everything, they who control this matrix illusion system, which we were born into, that's why we don't realize there's other way they made us think that we are a developed monkey when in reality so we yeah. thought we're a monkey and now we're like here and we're already so advanced when in reality this where we are there's so much more than we are and this is i would say realizing this part and learning it and mastering it is the second part of awakening uh, where we have to realize, you know, how do I, you know, navigate my psychic abilities, how I work with the energy, how I step into my life purpose. So there's like many aspects to this. I think I lost Jamie. Are you back? Oh man. Yep. There you go. You kind of cut out for a minute there on my end. Did yeah. I okay. cut out with yours or is it okay? Yeah. So yeah, I finished with that, you know, that part uh learning about your psychic abilities and stepping into your life purpose it's the second part of spiritual awakening when we have to learn about deeply about ourselves and our being multi-dimensional selves yes and do you feel more powerful for that now is it are you starting to feel like this is something that you can navigate and you're not so um just this little kind of little being that just doesn't know anything. It, it, it kind of gives you that power, yeah? Yeah, exactly. I love that you said that because I will tell you that deep down on my soul level, even as a kid, I just felt like something is missing. Something is missing. And now, like literally in 2020, when I got my psychic abilities and I'm helping people, I'm like, hell yes. I knew, I always knew it, that this is the real world. And I mean, real is still like a label, but that it's yeah. not flat out job, security, get kids, get married, die, you know? Yeah. yeah, for sure. And that's kind of a scary thing when you think about it, you know, or when I was younger, when I thought about it that way, but really now it's like time and space don't really exist. So I kind of feel like well, who cares about, you know, like this right now I'm 41. So I'm supposed to be in this like midlife crisis kind of moment. And I'm like, you know, I feel like I'm not going to die in 40 years. You know, <laughs> like I feel like it's just now I'm like, oh, I get to expand and I get to kind of move uh, fluidly, uh, you know, and, and raise my kids and do all that stuff. And now it's going to be like, they have the ability to feel their own power. And that is exciting to me. Yeah, exactly. And as you were speaking, I just wanted to share one thing about age, you know, like, oh, I'm 41. So what I'm going to die in 40 years. Actually, um, the thing with aging, only humans have like thing as an aging, because think about aliens, you know, Pleiadians, Arcturians, they are hundreds and hundreds of years old. Why? Because humans were designed, you know, our DNA were altered. So it's again, frequency within us. But we will age only if we think that aging is a thing. If I 100% believe that there is no such a thing as aging, I will have this body for as long as I wish. And this is something I'm starting to play with. And, you know, there are so many, you know, proof out there when people in their 60s look better when they were 40, you know, gray hair goes away and so on and so forth. So... I think, again, it's coming back and recognizing how powerful we are. Yes. 
And there are new technologies I feel like that are going to be revealed um, pretty soon to kind of stop all that madness anyway. But it's not really about the technology. It's like the belief system of, like you said, you know, the belief system, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm supposed to get old now and I'm supposed, my body's supposed to break down. And really I'm like, man, I feel like I'm just getting started. So it's this belief system that we need to get rid of. Um, and, you know, I love uh, the work of, of, there's a bunch of them, but Dr. Bruce Lipton, how he talks about, you know, the biology of belief. And I really feel like that is going to come out more. Yeah, 100%. People just taking back and realizing and recognizing the multidimensional selves in ourselves. Because imagine if we have this quantum opportunities, why on earth we will choose to die? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and age, like, this is crazy. But um, this is all awesome, like, gets me excited about the future, as you said, you know, and as I see more suppression, you know, being rolled out now, end of the year, the second round of lockdowns and more and more suppression uh, put on humanity. What I would love to touch on, you know, what what can people expect in 2021 with this energy? Because I feel when we are, the more suppressed we are, the more suppression they put on us, the more we wake up. So what would you, what is your insight as a medium on the energies moving from now? Let's see. There you are. Okay. okay. <laughs> I think my net internet cut out for a second, but it's okay. Where did you lost me? When you get, well, I'm now I'm not sure, but we were talking about um, aging and, and all that good stuff. But I kind of feel like just, I know that this is kind of going in and out, but when we get to a point where we um, are talking about high frequency things, I mean, frequency messes with the, um, the internet and messes with all that stuff. So as much as this is annoying, it's like kind of exciting just to think, you know what, we're talking about some high frequency stuff. And so it's interfering with a lot of this technology. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Uh, well, basically what I was ta uh, talking about is the suppression that is being rolled out, the second uh, you know, wave of lockdowns. And as you said, I'm also getting excited about this. I mean, of course, it's uncomfortable. I don't want to be sitting at home. But at the same time, I know the more they try to suppress us, the faster humanity wakes up and say, like, what the hell? No. Yes. Um, so what are would, the insights you could share, you know, with the people who are watching um, about the energies in 2021 and beyond? What can we expect and prepare mentally so that, you know, we're not like, uh, again, back in fear. Yeah. So in my opinion, I know that there's going to be some crazy stuff that comes out um, in the media and um, in, you know, you're, we're watching it roll out right now. So I feel like there's going to be more of uh, the revealing of what was going on behind the scenes in 2021. I'm not sure, like I, I, time and space to me are very hard, especially when I do readings. Time and space don't necessarily exist. Um, they exist in kind of this realm, but um, so, and we're kind of jumping in between them. So it's really hard for me to say when these things are going to play out, but I do see more so in 2021 that, uh, because 2020 was um, 2020 vision, right? And so it was kind of the awakening, right? The 2020 vision opening your eyes. Um, and in this time, it's, it's more of the unveiling. And um, so like I was saying before about the word, uh, apocalypse, how it means the unveiling. Uh, and I, I know that there, this is, a, a, there's a ton of these things in different religions everywhere. It's just easier for me to say Christianity because I think, I know the more majority of the people that I know, know Christianity. It's not that they're necessarily Christian or not. And, you know, like I said, all religions are, do have a lot of uh, knowledge, which I love, but Christianity is the easiest one that I, I can go on because people know that one, but the unveiling also means, um, so to unveil means also to unmask. So it, it kind of is fitting between what's happening right now to unmask and we won't go all into that craziness. Um, but I kind of feel like what's going to happen is that a lot of these things are going to come to the forefront on how we've been lied to about a, a ton of different things, um, about the uh, education system, about the medical systems, about the uh, 
political systems, about, you know, the monetary system is a huge one. And right now, as much as everybody's freaking out, it has to fall in order for us to rebuild. So I see that happening in 2021, which um, you can see it in different perspectives, but in my perspective, it's really very exciting. So what do you think in your perspective? What's going on around there? Yeah, so I feel like I have done a video, a separate video on like three things to expect in 2021. Um, that was an actual download from Galactic Federation. And one of the things was um, the disclosure, alien disclosure. So, you know, it, it may come, for, first of course, they're not going to, you know, come down with saucers down on Earth because it's going to just um, uh, create more hysteria. But mm -hmm. on an individual level, we will be starting to open up our consciousness like, hey, we're yeah. not the only ones. Yeah. Um, and then the same thing that you touched on that, you know, really realizing that, you know, big people that we put on the pedestal are not what uh, we thought that we are. Um, and actually that those people are not who are in control anyway. They're, they're just, you know, the puppets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I just feel that and again, it depends where you are. Are you more 5D or 3D? Because Absolutely. 5D, you already kind of expect this. If 3D, if we talk about 3D where the majority of the world is, it will be a lot of, you know, scandals and yeah. shock and completely, you know, shattering their belief systems because what we will see, you know, unveiling and the systems fa failing and falling, it's gonna create a lot of stress and fear. Yeah. I completely agree with you. And I think when you go on to that, like, we're not going to go into that too much because, but I totally agree with you. Uh, I, I love that you talked with the Galactic Federation because I think that more, more people in the disclosure, I think that more people are starting to realize that they're, um, there's certain beings, like I was talking about that are not um, human and they're already here. And so they've been here for a very long time. And that I think is part of that disclosure. And I think that, I don't know if, if that's going to help people as far, but it, it would help me, you know, it helps me to know that like, oh, they've already been here. They're not just going to blow us up. It's not going to be this crazy thing where everybody thinks, but see, that is what I'm talking about with the movies. You know, the movies are meant to, um, I mean, how many movies do we have where it's all this bad thing that happens and they come down and, and I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not how it works at all. They're already here. And uh, disclosure is going to help. But there's nobody, I want to make sure that people know, there's nobody that is going to come and save us. We are our own saviors. Um, and being a, a collective and being um, in, in collaboration with different beings is what I see more happening. And so that's exciting to me. Yeah. And um, what I would also would love to add to this is that, guys, if you're feeling al aliens, realize that if they would really want to blow us up, they will <laughs> do this already. The yeah. fact that they are coming on individual level means that they're so caring that they do not want to, you know, <laughs> kill us or like they want to come in with care so that later they can help us to ascend to higher realms but again as jamie said we there's no savers we have to do this now and we have to realize that there's no again one certain timeline that we're going into you know that there's uh the the system is gonna fall or we're gonna awaken no there's nothing there's like blank page and as we speak we are writing and choosing the timeline right now and i just take the personal responsibility if you are focusing now on fear-based scenarios as you know taking an injection or, you know, going and uh, right. buying out all the toilet paper and all the government is bad. You are creating this reality for yourself. Absolutely. So the, the you know, yes, there will be hysteria. Yes, it will be scary, but you are the creator. So please take responsibility to focus on the highest possible time, to, uh, highest vibrational timeline possible because the more collective vibration it is, the more people will be there and faster will shift. Absolutely. I love that. I love that you said that. And, and the fear is really false evidence appearing real. And it's not 
um, who you are inside. And really you are so much more powerful. And that's part of this uh, awakening, just realizing your power and navigating that power and knowing that you are a creator. Um, and that's exciting because if you, once you take your power back, there is no more fear. That all goes away because we don't need to, you know, we have so much power and they're all very afraid of it. And which is why they're, you know, trying to suppress, suppress, suppress. And, you know, it, it, it's over, it's, it's over. It's really just the, the kind of waking, you know, waking up and rubbing the sleep from your eyes at this point. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, like guys, look at it. Like we've been tried, uh, they've tried to control us in 2020 more than ever. Why? Because they're scared more than ever. They, they're throwing their last cards. They're pushing so hard that they don't care anymore about being exposed because this is so obvious. They don't exactly. care because if they don't do something, they lost their game, but actually they lost already. <laughs> but um, I, I think it's such a great conversation, Jamie. Um, you know, we can go on forever. Is there anything else you would like to, you know, leave with people, give them a guidance um, in regards to the Great Awakening and what they can do themselves? Um, grounding, 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 grounding. And I have to admit, and I'll tell you this in my videos as well, so my, my crew knows, I am the worst person on grounding. I'm very comfortable in the higher realms and I can go here for hours on end, um, but grounding is my uh, biggest downfall. And I have got some, uh, an amazing uh, group of people who help me to ground. Um, and salt water is kind of my thing. My thing is being in water. I'm constantly in water. Um, so salt water, if you can't get out of your house, uh, if you can get out of your house, get out into the mountains, um, breathe, breathe. And, and uh, you know, that's a part of this whole, you know, cover yourself kind of thing. Well, you need to be able to breathe. And, and I don't mean go out and freak everybody out. I mean, go out into nature if it is all, it, it's possible for you and take some deep breaths and ground yourself into the earth and realize that you are connected with everything and that you are source energy. And so you, in that sense, you can take your power back. Do you have any la uh, words for everybody else? <laughs> Well, like I know that you've got, you've got some channeling stuff and I'd love to go into that at some point in time. So we're going to have to talk some more about the channeling. Yeah, 100%. And um, exactly talking about channeling. And as you said, you know, I'm very comfortable in higher realms, you know, for any, you know, light workers and people who are just getting into channeling now, understand that, you know, think about the tree, the higher uh, the branches of the tree are, the bigger and deeper the roots has have to be so you have to be grounded and able and be stable to be able to tap in um so that's adding to your um beautiful share jamie but for me it will be you know taking full responsibility uh, for yourself for your action for whatever you're creating because realize you are the only person who's experiencing the reality as you because no one on earth has the exact perception as you so it's just realizing and you know making a decision and choosing what do you want to experience you want to choose and experience fear there you go it's your choice but personal for me i i, I know <laughs> i don't want to experience fear of course i experience it as a human and comfortability but then i'm like oh wait this is a second of illusion it's okay i'm a human but i choose to focus on positive and i i don't ignore it i don't avoid it i just acknowledge it and it, it let it pass so it's you know 100 responsibility and this is your power right and you've got some amazing, amazing knowledge, Christina, and I adore your channel and I adore your knowledge. And I just appreciate everything that you've given to the, to the people and to myself. Oh, thank you so much, Jamie. I really, really appreciate your connection. And you guys, I just want to, you know, give my and Jamie's uh, example. We just connected over YouTube and realized that when you get out of your own way, the right people, your soul tribe, your soul family will start coming back to your life because now you're an energetical match. Now you don't sit in the 
self-pity and tell how the bad world is. Um, so, you know, when you make yourself available and open, the beautiful things will start to come in. And no matter what are the 3D world outside, you know, the beautiful connections. And again, I think that's, you know, our strength in the numbers. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, I heard this, I just want to leave off with this because, and I, I'm probably going to botch it, but I just heard this, I think the other day, and I thought it was the most beautiful thing. When you think you're being buried, when you think you're being buried, you're actually being planted and now it is time to grow. So. Yeah. So we'll leave uh, you guys with this. I hope you enjoyed this um, conversation. Let us know in the comments, you know, what, other types of subjects or collaborations you would like us to do? Uh, what are your thoughts? Maybe, you know, doubts or fears around, you know, all of the great awakening. Um, and uh, yeah, if you would like to connect with me or Jamie, you'll find all the details in the description down below, no matter where you're, if you're watching on Jamie's channel or mine. Um, the only thing I would like to add is that um, on Saturday, which is Friday for uh, US, I uh, will be hosting Shifting and Being 5D online event to you know, help you understand more about what is this 5D, you know, how the world is gonna look in 5D and also we'll be channeling an immersion and activation specifically for the group to clear your energetical blocks and help you with, you know, get into ascension more easy way. So if you're interested in that, I'll also leave the link in the description down below. But if you'd like to connect with Jamie, she's also doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, readings, also sorts of amazing stuff. Um, Jamie, would like to add anything? Um, no, I know that you have a, uh, a website and it's spirituallyselfish.com, correct? Yeah. And if you'd like to find me, in, which the links will be in the uh, description box below but mine is miss my mystic medium.com as well so thank you so much you are amazing and i thank you to all the people that are sitting there watching us and i appreciate all of you yeah thank you so much guys and we'll talk soon bye bye